Hey guys, it's Haley, Cosmetology 120 Lab, and today we are going to do a set of artificial lashes. Um, we are going to start by greeting our client, escorting them to the work area. We are going to assess their current style, determine their preferences, um, as well as any special needs that they are hoping to get out of the service today. We are going to assess the client's skin by performing a skin analysis to ensure that there's no inflamed, irritated, um, broken, raised, or swollen skin in the area to be worked on, any open wounds or sores in the area to be worked on, infection or infestation such as lice that would prevent us from safely performing the service today. Um, we are going to assess the client's consultation form. Um, we're going to discuss with them any medications or products they've used within the last 72 hours. Um, also ask about any um, known allergies that the client may have. Um, we are going to consult with the client on any facial surgeries they've had within the last three months and if they remain under physician's care for those. Um, we are going to ask if the client is prone to fever blisters or cold sores and we are going to assess if the client has used exfoliating or lightening agents in the last 72 hours and that would be your AHAs and your BHAs and we are going to um, determine if the client has had any facial injections within the last three weeks such as Botox or hyaluronic fillers that would affect our service today as well. If the client is free from all of those then we would go ahead and proceed with today's procedure. Um, we are going to start by washing our hands, so wetting our hands in warm running water and lathering with liquid antibacterial soap. Rinsing our hands under warm running water. Drying our hands with a disposable paper towel. Turning off the water with the paper towel and disposing of the paper towel in the trash. Um, then we are going to sanitize our hands. This is hand sanitizer. It does have to be between 62 and 70%. Um, if alcohol and this particular brand is 70%. And then we are going to put on our gloves and clean our work area. So I have my Barbicide wipe number one. Um, these are EPA registered, verified, um, safe for use in the spa and salon setting, and they are verified effective as a bactericidal, vericidal, fungicidal agent. So um, we are going to clean and sanitize with wipe number one. So we're wiping down our bed. And we're going to wipe down. This is going to be the little, um, and it's been sanitized, but my um, tray I'm going to use here. We're going to wipe down our cart. Go 
dispose of that in the trash. And then we have wipe number two, and this is actually disinfecting our work area. trash and then we're going to remove our gloves. And those are disposed of in the trash. And then we are going to gather the items that we're going to need. So I have this tray that I'm going to use and I am going to put some um, cleanser or makeup remover in here. Then I am going to get out a couple of eye rounds. A disposable mascara wand. Gonna get a couple of wooden sticks to apply the glue to the lash. Tiny scissors, lash glue, and a new set of lashes. Also need a set of tweezers. this as my disposable um, table cover and we're going to help the client onto the bed and we're going to give her a hair net So now we are going to wash our hands again. So wetting our hands under warm running water, lathering with liquid antibacterial soap. Rinsing our hands in warm running water. Drying our hands with a disposable paper towel. Turning off the water with the paper towel, disposing of that in the trash. And then again, we are going to sanitize our hands.
first thing we're going to do is cleanse We're going to take our disposable mascara wand and we're cleaning. Client's lashes just to make sure they're good and clean and that there's no residue. And then we would dispose of that. Is just measuring the lash. And these are actually a good fit. If they were